Hello, good people. Welcome back to our channel. We are so excited to have you again. The long-awaited forensic audit for Niger Delta Development Commission is finally out, and this president is screaming because of the huge amount of money that has been misappropriated. In other words, money where they don't chop. The president is screaming because it's quite a huge amount of money talking about six trillion naira and right now what he's trying to do is possibly to go after them but you know this is really really shocking considering the fact that ndc is a well-structured you know commission that i believe that they should be uh, what we call internal control measures on ground especially when it has to do with contracts whenever contracts are given out to people they should be a timeline for them to finish that contract and when they finish that contract they should be also what i may call certificate of inspection after you have finished inspecting you know the job that has been given to them a certificate of completion should be handed over to them and that certificate of completion should have a copy sent to ndc or not ndc sent to the president or sent to the minister who is in charge and he will be the one to commission or possibly to also deliver the certificate of inspection, you know, to those people and also certificate of completion. He's the one that should do all of that. A copy of it should even go to the president so that he can affirm that the job has been done. But shockingly, what we are hearing now is um, that as much as that amount has been misappropriated and the president have vowed to do this. But first of all, it's good we look at the details of uh, the um, news and also for you to get to see um, the other side of the forensic audit before we go ahead to analyze but before we do that if you're not subscribed to our channel kindly hit on the red subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you can get notification anytime we publish our videos now according to the news president muhammadu buhari vow in abuja on thursday that fraudulent nigerians involved in the misappropriation of six trillion naira pumped into niger delta development commission ndc would be made to cough it out hmm. the president revealed that about 3.4 trillion was sunk into the ndc through budgetary allocation while another sum approximately 2.4 trillion um, Naira was provided for the commission through statutory allocation. He noted with sadness that the commission maintained an unprecedented 362 bank accounts as conduit pipes through which the NDDC funds were used to pay contractors for either unexecuted or abandoned projects. According to the president, in spite of the huge fund provision, there had been no commensurate infrastructural facilities to justify the good efforts of the government towards the people that are supposed to be beneficiaries. Buhari, who received the forensic audit reports carried out on the commission, lamented that over 13,777 projects designed to make life more meaningful for the people of the Niger Delta region, awarded by those at the hands of a fair, were criminally abandoned after billions of naira had been paid to contractors that would soon be fished out. The president received the report through the Attorney General of the Federation, AGF, and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami. Buhari also said that no one indicted for shady deals in the NDDC scam would be spared, no matter how highly placed, adding that everyone will be made to account for his or her own deed. No one will be spared. To demonstrate the federal government's seriousness to address the alleged monumental fraud, the president ordered that the report be immediately made available to the Federal Ministry of Justice for legal review that will pave the way for prosecution of indicted People. The report, which was in four segments, was presented by the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Godwin Goswil Akpabio. In his overview of the report, the leader of the forensic audit on Haji Kabiru Ahmed said that by that a whooping sum of four billion dollars is standing against oil companies in the region to be remitted to the people through the NDDC and pleaded that efforts be made to recover the money from the affected companies. The renowned auditor said that 16 companies engaged to do the auditing re recommended that work of the NDDC board be made part 
time as against the current full-time status. He urged that all the staff who compromise on the award of fraudulent contracts must be made to face the music if NDDC is to be made functional. Kabiru also called for periodic review of the master plan of NDDC while contractors who receive money without jobs done be made to cough out funds while payment of mobilization fee to contractors must be immediately abolished in the interest of accountability and probity in the commission. Wow, wow, wow. This is um, a, a serious issue that uh, one needs to look at. I have not been privileged to see, you know, the content of the report, but according to the news, uh, it's going to be forwarded to the legal, um, to Ministry of Justice for legal review, and then the people who are found wanting will be called off to, will be indicted, and they will be, you know, given legal treatment, which will possibly result to them vomiting those amount of money. Now, some months ago, we heard a lot from different people, you know, about this issue of NDDC. And shockingly, a lot of the contractors are actually members of the legislative arm of Nigeria, talking about the House of Representatives and the House of Senate. Now, this, these guys will get this money, and uh, just because... We have a status quo in Nigeria, which is, uh, even if I walk away with the money, am I the first person, uh, I can't be investigated, and all of that. I mean, uh, this whole thing, one of the things that have made it seem as if uh, the government is kind of very lazy over their responsibility is the fact that when stuff like this come up, before you know, it will be swept under the carpet and nothing will be done about it. We've heard a lot of stuff, you know, like this come up. I could still remember when this guy was subjected to investigation, the review panel talking about EF, former EFCC boss Magu, the review panel said that they have submitted a report and before they, submit, they, they submitted the report to the president, what we were told was that it will be made public and anyone who is indicted in the process will be brought to book. But shockingly, up till today, nobody hears anything about the Magu's case, you know. And other, you know, committees have been set up like this to investigate. They come out with something very interesting and very powerful and nothing is done about it. But I am hopeful, based on the reaction of the president, that something very drastic will be done. No matter who these people are, they should be brought to table to give full account of all the money, even if it means to a point of confiscating all their, all their these improperties. I mean, it, it, it's, it's worth it because um, right now, if you look at the economic status of Nigeria, you know that this country is singing real good. And guess what? Six billion naira, if it is you Use adequately well, it will go an extra mile to solving some of the problems that is staring at our face. Imagine how much has been spent thus far in fixing roads, which is some coming from the state government. Some individual self will even look at their own street and just have to fix it. Because if you have to wait for the government, wait for the state government, wait for the federal, sorry, the, the relevant authorities, for example, NDDC to come do it, you're going to wait forever. There are some schools that are still under construction up till today, they have not done anything about it. If you take a retrospect at all of this, you know that those who are vulnerable are actually key person, personnel whom most people have voted in because for me, I, I don't think I can even spade in my votes. These guys are damn to, I mean, I don't want to use the kind of what I feel like using on them, but they shock me every minute and time. How, how would you explain someone, you know, uh, his hiding place being discovered and then you notice that monies have been there and those monies packed in one thing and they sit there rust, decayed and all of that and he feels very okay. And sometimes this money are hard currency. Now, if you had used it to fix the problems of the country, would it not earn you a good name than for you to go put it somewhere and the things stay, they get rotten, get terrible and it's not even put into use? These guys are literally... And I, I keep asking myself, why is it like this in Nigeria? While well, in other countries, we don't hear stuff like this. And the reason is because we don't have any effective internal control measures. We don't have. Those, guess what? If you are privileged to get some of the documents of Nigeria in, in terms of accounting policies and all of that, it will shock you that it's one of the best in the world. But implementation has always been the case. They just stock those books there. In the event of audit, you go, you see all those books are in place. But why don't you use it for us to curtail this issue of corruption, even if it cannot be totally exterminated from the country, but at least be reduced to the barest minimum so that we know that the country is working and we know that the government, government that we have elected into position to see to the face of the people are also working. 
What does it take to do all of this? It's really shocking. We have l cases of, you know, fraud littered everywhere. But who is working to get those things corrected? Absolutely nobody. I'm hopeful that this time around, it will not be like every other case. Thing, something very drastic will be done about it. I'd like to leave it there. Go